Uh, one of the jesters has decided to take a nap. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm paying you, I think, right? I'm, I'm, I'm giving you discounts on things and you're just snoozing the day away. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Tavern Tycoon in the Last Chance Inn, where I see one of our newly acquired jesters has made his way to the front of the stage here. What exactly is it that you do? Uh, you're sort of doing a little dance, okay? And you've got a book. You're dancing with a book. And this is funny to you. Okay, and there's a- wow, this place is packed with jesters now. Alrighty. Um, hey, while I'm here, I can pick off a few of these tables and replace them while nobody is actually sitting at them. That would be nice. Have some nice, new, fresh tables for people, because they're getting a little banged up because our restaurant is doing boffo business at this point. There we go. Is there another one in there? Yeah, replace that one. There we go. That's looking a lot nicer. I'll wait till you guys are done with dinner before I replace your tables. Now, in the last one, we expanded quite a bit over here. We've got most of this. Oh, I see you kids. I got you. We've got most of this building fleshed out, except for this fussy little spot here that I'm not really sure what to do with. And I see our handyman over here is still training. Good, good. Keep doing that. We've got our staff training room up, and the barbarian is playing chess. Well, that's probably going to end poorly by himself, I might add. What I'd really like to see if we can do something about is, well, two things, two things. This is getting a little ridiculous over here. This is just everyone on the planet lives in this tiny little space. I'd like to see if there's some way we can shave people off to other parts of the building, if only for my frame rate. If only because there's way too much going on down here. We're kind of testing the limits of my PC at this point. I'm curious if putting up another reception desk would have any effect on that because oh dear it's the end of the year all right how did we do how did we do come on give it to me well we are tavern of the year again but i bet we didn't do so well in the individual categories no we did not didn't even rank in the individual categories okay well back to this anyway i wonder if putting up another reception desk would help to peel people off of here my thought is that people are coming in checking in at the reception desk and then just sort of wandering around basically waiting for their thing to happen um while i'm thinking of their thing to happen i wonder if there's any way i could squeeze in any more benches in here just at least to give them somewhere to sit what if i had two benches yep one can live right there and one can live right there good actually kind of corners off the bars nicely gives you a real homey feel down there um oh you're hammered okay the other thing that i'm kind of mildly concerned about where's our other building there it is is we're getting a little bit of a reputation loss or at least we were in the last one now as usual the comments section have been picking up my slack as they always do because you know ain't nobody tuning into the wee hours for competent gameplay and saying we did make a lot of adjustments to the wait leave cycle in the last one and maybe just a bunch of people left and they were unhappy about that all at once ah m pexon is done he has learned Dust Magnet. Cool. Good. Um, are you M. Paxson? No, you're R. 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 Oh, wow, there's a lot of R's in there. Okay, I would like to maybe send you out for training. I'll deal with that in a second. I want to keep somebody always kind of rotating in training. And anyway, long story short, the comments section, it might have been a temporary um, dip in reputation as a bunch of people left unhappy. I do notice now we are ticking back up a little bit. But let's get the mail read. Hang on, pause it for a second game because things are happening here. Let's, uh, what do we got going on here? Somebody needs a raise. I didn't catch you. You are basically fine. Yeah, that's fine. You can have a raise. Monthly report. Bet we made some money. Bet we spent some money. Thank you. Lord Peter wants to come over. I would like to see that too. And we've got locals and warriors. All right. I think we can cope with that, especially since we've put up the second gym. That'll be good for them, so they'll have extra places to, well, do their gym things. Now, what the heck am I going to put in this fussy, fussy little spot here? Maybe the other reception desk. Hmm. And how much are these other buildings going for? Remind me again, now that money is... 
Oh, I say broadly stable. I mean, it's not terrible. The next logical one would be this guy over here for 12,500. Cancel that for right now because I'm not 100% sure what I'd put in that. The other thing that came up too, now that I just happen to be hovering over it, is our guest rooms. They're not really seeing as much action as we might like. Now, I did raise the price on those a little bit. Get me to my policy, please. Yeah, we put the guest rooms up to 220, up from 175. How about we back that off a little bit to 200? Let's see if that will get more people in the room. I'm fine with the shared guest room at 90. It's been 90 since day one, and people seem to be broadly okay with that. So let's turn this back on. Let's get some things going. Just keeping an eye out for kids and nights and whatnots, any of those guys coming along. And while I'm also thinking of it one more time, I want to get the discount for bards. I'm going to skip the jesters for right now. I was a little unimpressed with them. I'm sure they're maybe like, well, I would guess about three times as good as the bards, but I didn't see that there was some huge uptick of people loving jesters. So I'm going to give the 50% discount to bards because it's cheaper and people love the music. It's a really easy way for a reputation game. People are just digging this music. Okay, slow it down a sec. All these people in here, what's your problem? Yeah, amazing music times four. There we go. You're waiting for a seat on the bar. 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 And you're a handyman. You work for me. Okay. So no seats at the bar. Fine. Is there a problem with people going over to this bar? Because, well, there's no seats at the bar there either. Okay, how about bar number four? Technically, it's bar number three, but yeah, that's jammed out too. Okay, more more bars. That, that's easy. That's totally easy to fix, and it kind of solves the problem of what am I going to put in this fussy little spot here? Probably two bars. I'm going to start with one and then see how that does. So give me one bar. Oh, I won't be able to fit two in here. Ooh, I'd like to fit two in here. That would be my goal. Oh, how, oh, 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 no, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, sorry, I misclicked. Yeah, move that, please. There we go. That's what I want to do. Oh, it won't quite fit in there. That's annoying. I'd like it to kind of fit in there. How about if we put it, oh, really has a hard time fitting just about anywhere in here. How about we put it here? That works. And what if we put a couple more happy things around here, like a couple of benches? Could I maybe get another fireplace in there? Those things aren't cheap, though. Uh, so, bench, bench, fireplace, maybe you want to live around here? Oh, you can, well, you could live over there, but we've already got one. All right, no on the fireplace then, and that got my benches refunded. All right, one more time. Okay, two benches and a potted plant. There we go. Not a pot plant. Those are for people who live in other states that aren't mine. Um, well, actually, technically my state. But anyway, that's real world stuff. Right, but game back on. Good. Okay, now I wanted to keep going with the training. I've got one handyman trained up. I think training the handyman first might be the best way to go. Let me have a think about who's getting trained next. Yeah, I'm going to take Ardoreen here, the guy I just gave a raise to, and train him in Dust Magnet. That seems pretty good. Uh, discount for Bards is still going, and I need to hire a new bartender for the new bar. So bartenders, as well, eh, you're kind of meh. You're also kind of meh. You're really not so meh. Uh, wow, not a lot of good choices here. I guess I'll take S. Well, just because he's got a goofy grin on his face, and that might work for a bartender. There we go. You live there now, Sparky. I don't suppose there's any way I could get another bar in here, is there? If I moved this fireplace, maybe anywhere but where it's living right now, there's one over there. Uh, yeah, how about we live that right there? Lived that right there? That's totally not English. And put another bar up. Can I squeeze one here? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, 
This is, boy, this is a tavern. This is really getting to the heart of tavern. It is nothing but booze over here. Booze and the gym. Drunken exercising all the time. Let's get another bartender. I'm pretty sure we can float these raises, he says overly optimistically, because financial stuff is not how he plays games. So let's see if all those bartenders working together can actually get something done. And Ardarine, I notice you're not actually going to the training room. Did you maybe have something else queued and you're going to do that before you do that? Oh, the jesters are still here. Good. Um, wow, these tables are still breaking down pretty quickly. Anyone not... Wow, the jester... Just jester's all over the place. All right. Well, fine. Um, oh, things are happening. Okay, read the mail, read the mail. I didn't really catch the bonus thing. Oh, I got to keep an eye on that. Maybe I'll just go through this. Yeah, everyone wants a raise. I, I need to look at the bonus thing. Uh, you actually don't want a very big raise. That's fine. I'm basically going to give out all these raises. You're fine. You look like you're grossly underpaid anyway. We'll check that in a bit. Now, I'm wondering if putting up those two new bars will help alleviate some of the congestion around here. Like you, what's your deal? You're waiting for a seat at the bar. I've put up two new bars, people. There are two places for you to enjoy your adult beverages. Go and find them. It's not that hard. It's right up down the path there. Oh, they, they, this mage is very happy about things. Super, super happy. Like you, what's your deal? What are you waiting for? Waiting for a seat at the bar. Okay, I, I put up two new bars. Don't tell me they're already full. That is just inconceivable to me. Are you are you already full? No, no, there's plenty of seats over here. I think you're just taking time to get over here. These bars are wide open. Right, well that kind of covers, apart from me completely remodeling the place, that kind of covers this place. I wonder if I should put up some more slot machines. These things are jammed over here. And how's the old money situation here? Not bad. Rep is stable -y, sort of around 2300-ish. Okay. I'd like to see that moving up in a more positive direction. That would be my goal. Money, I think we may have conquered money. Wow, I totally just jinxed myself. Armadillo rat, I got it. Don't worry, don't worry. Nobody panic, I got the armadillo rat. I think we... Money seems to not be our problem right now. That totally just jinxed myself. But, rep, I'd like to see that going up a little bit more. And it's probably a lot of just people waiting for... I see you kids. People waiting for things they can't do yet. That's probably where our rep hits are coming in. So, really, it just comes down to more things, please. Which probably means we need to open up this second building while I've got the money. Twelve and a half thousand. Do it. Okay, there it is. That's a lot of money. We're just going to chill till the end of the month. Just relax. Everyone calm down. It's all going to be fine. Although, while we're chilling through the month, I will have a quick look at the staff here and see who's doing what in terms of wages. Now, S. Reed, you seem to be a little bit underpaid here. You are very, very skilled. Yeah, you are super skilled at things. Okay, why don't you have a raise and have another one you're wicked happy right now but you're still a little bit underpaid we'll kind of keep an eye on you as we can everyone else seems to be either fairly paid or frankly overpaid is there anyone who's wicked sad right now s morley you're a little sad why don't we get you up to sunglass level happiness there we go Anyone? Oh, yeah, B. Minster, you're kind of sad, too, but you... You know what? I'm going to give you one raise and one bonus. That gets you some sunglasses. There you go, Sparky. You, Nudigate... Nudigate? You know what? Let's just stop saying that word. How about you had... You're grossly overpaid, it looks like, so you can just have a bonus. Okay, that should be basically everyone covered. Good. Keep it ticking along here. I wouldn't mind... I was going to say I wouldn't mind another maiden, but the tables seem to be getting cleaned off relatively quickly. This maiden's, yeah, they're all getting these tables cleaned off so we can turn these tables. That'll be fine. I'd really like to... Oh, Ardarine is finally training. Good. So Ardarine must have had something else queued up and had to do that first before he went to training. That's fine. I'd love to pick off some more of these tables and get these repaired to new. I don't mean repaired. I do mean new. 
while people are not at them. I don't want to bum people out by, well, effectively stopping their dinner, asking them to stand up and walk around, and then put a table back, and that probably bumps them to the bottom of the queue. Armadillo rat, I got it. Right where the other one was, actually. I think we have a pest problem over in this corner. Maybe lay some traps or something. Yeah, bum them out, get them to stand up from dinner, and it probably bumps them back down to the bottom of the queue waiting for a table. That would make me a little sad. I would have a reputation hit if you did that to me. All right, new month ticks over and we're still in positive money. That's good. Uh, I wanted to just chill after the hit of the new building, but now we can start working on it. Obviously, we're going to need more bars. I'm wondering the validity of putting down another restaurant. I wonder, I don't know if I, do I need another kitchen? Maybe just a small one over there. I mean, this is going to make the maidens walk back and forth between these two buildings, which is a problem we've had before. They're taking a ton of time to go back and forth, but basically all of these tables are full. Before I start doing that, let's get kind of you, my usual little broad exit poll here, like you, Mr. Knight. What's your problem? You're Oh, you're. I think you're just showing up. You're moving to the reception desk. You love the mead, you love the food, you love the music. That's pretty much what everyone loves. How about you? Uh, you loved all the music. All the music. Now, your reputation went down by minus 16, but I'm not sure why. I'm not sure. Oh, I see you, kids. I see you. Come here. Come here. There we go. Um, I'd love to get... I'd love it in Tavern Tycoon if there was just a screen, a big screen of UI that said, here's everyone who left, and here's what they thought about things, rather than clicking on individual people. Inspection results, yes, once again, Lord Peter has given me a score of 1.0 because he hates my interior, but he loves everything else. And everyone down here seems to be waiting for a seat at the bar. I wonder what I do about that. Well, I mean, my obvious thing to do something about that would be to put more bars down here, but that would require, once again, for about the tenth time, restructuring this place. The guest room's still not seeing all the action I would like. How about, how about we bump that down just a little bit more? You know what? I'm okay with giving a discount to people in the guest rooms if it gets them in the guest rooms. We were doing pretty well at 175. That seemed to get those places packed. So let's do that. Um, everything else I think is broadly good. I don't feel the need to raise the prices on any of the happy rooms because why? I just want people, honestly, I'd rather people were happy here than putting a ton of money into here. Money is, again, jinxing myself, sort of okay right now. Just a real quick round of bonuses here while we're getting kind of towards the end of the month. Wow, I have a lot of staff. I, I have a huge enterprise going on here. Yeah, a quick round of bonuses. You can have a quick bonus. Now you've got sunglasses and you're wicked happy about that. Anyone else? Everyone else seems to be broadly okay. Now, with 17K, slow it down a sec, game. Slow it down. 17K in my pocket. What do I start to do with this room? Is it restaurant number two? Are there tons of people waiting for tables? We're seeing a lot more waiting for bars rather than waiting for tables. I think, here's what I want to do immediately. I would like to put down a second archery range right in this long strip here, just because it's the only happy room we haven't doubled up on. We have two of everything else, two gyms, two wizard studies. Well, we don't have two casinos, but we'll think about that. But we don't have a second archery range, so let's get that going. It's also fairly cheap to put those things in. How about we had like the longest archery range because we know that the longer the archery range is, the more people like it. So we'll put the door right down here. We'll get, where's the little arrows go? Right here. And we'll get you all the way down here. This is a great archery range. Let's get another shooty thing. Oh, I can't quite put it there. All right, that's fine. This can be the beginner course. So you've got your um, not very good at archery right here, and I'm a little bit better than at archery right here. Super. Let's get another target here, and more of these can go down here and here. Lock that in for me, please. Great. 
archery range, ahoy. Now what? I want to experiment with the second reception desk. This may be a dumb idea. We may just need one reception desk, but I want to see if a second reception desk will peel people away from the main building. How close can I get that right to the front door? Right about, well, right at the front door. Cool. Give me a, uh, what is that again? That's a clerk. Okay, clerks, M. Cannon, you are, I can't say that I'm the best, but I'm a quiet person. Okay. Quiet is actually not what we really need for a receptionist, but you seem to, oh, you're kind of expensive though. You're, you're sort of mid-range. Uh, L. Bennett, you're sort of middle of the road all the way around. You're hired. And you know what, M. Bennett, L. Bennett, whatever the heck your name is, what do you get for your special trainings? Nimble feet, regeneration, tip master, salesman. Ooh, salesman in the express shop sell items at a 15% above its actual price. Wow, that's really good. I really like that. Uh, let's, what's, what are your things? Station, reception desk, express shops, and to be determined, got it. Why don't you, uh, you're obviously uh, for the research station, which we don't have because all our food and drink is awesome. Why don't you just uh, not work in the express shop? Do I want to do that? No, you know what? If you need to jump in somewhere, you can jump in somewhere. That's fine. All right, turn that back on. I'm just going to let you kind of free roam. You're basically going to be manning this reception desk as an experiment. And speaking of training, did what's his name ever finish his training over here? No, still training. Okay, good. That's fine. You continue to train. Let me just keep a quick eye out for kids or knights or any of that nonsense. Well, the jesters are still dancing on the stage, and this wizard seems completely unimpressed by it. Could not care less about the dancing jester. I'm inclined to agree with you, Mr. Wizard. It's not, um, it's not that exciting. I'm, I'm not enthused by your jesting. It's not really working out. There goes another one. Maybe he's going to pick up the pace over there a little bit. Okay. Now, what I'm going to want to watch... Oh, yeah, the mail. The mail. I should have got the bonuses down there, right? That should be fine. Uh, monthly report. Made some money. Spent some money. Group reservation of locals. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's fine. I want to see if this is going to clear the congestion with the second reception desk over there. I have no idea if it will. I'm, again, basing this effectively on playing Theme Hospital, where one reception desk covered the entire compound, but maybe it'll just kind of clear up the traffic jams around here and get people to move around the complex more. That's really what I'm shooting for. Well, it is getting at least two people, three people over here. So this guy's checking in at the reception desk. What are you looking to do? You're waiting for a room. Okay, inquiring about a room, and now you're moving to the bookshelf. So it is getting people over here, but now they're having to walk all the way back to the other place to do what they wanted to do. I don't know about the validity of that. I don't know if that's the right idea here. Hmm. I could put up maybe just a couple of guest rooms here. That way, if someone was specifically waiting for a guest room, it would, you know, they could hang out here. Definitely another bar. Uh, where are we at? We're sort of a little past the middle of the month. What if I did maybe just a little chain of guest rooms, but guest rooms are not what's getting us the big money right now. I mean, forget the money. It's just not what people seem to be here for more than anything. Um, how are our guest rooms doing now that we've kind of lowered the price on that? Let's get all the way down to here. Eh, still not a lot of action here. How about the shared guest room? Oh, one of the jesters has decided to take a nap. That's cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm paying you, I think, right? I'm, I'm I'm giving you discounts on things, and you're just snoozing the day away. That's fine, right? That's totally fine. Oh, I see you, kids. I got you. I saw you in there. How's the restaurant? I do uh, Wow, tables are jammed. Tables are completely jammed. And there's a quite a bit of vomit going on, too. I wouldn't mind yet another handyman like you. You, what's your deal? You're rude hail. What's your problem? Why are you not doing things? What's your history? You've just basically taken a lot of money off of me. Okay, that's a good history to have. You're cleaning. That's at least valid. Okay, I want to pause it for a couple of reasons. One, there's mail. Group reservation of knights and wizards, that's totally fine. We can have those guys in here. And 
It is getting towards the end of the month. Let's look at the old bonus situation here. S. Reed, you're a little bit sad. You can have a little, little extra money. You're a little bit sad. You've got sunglasses. You're fine. How's everyone else doing around here? Most of my staff are pretty happy. Most of my staff are pretty darn excited about things. Pexon, looks like you're training right now. Still good. Okay. Right. What the heck else do I put in the rest of this building? Okay, I've got a plan. It's probably a terrible plan because it's my plan, but I'm going to let it tick over into the next month. Ah, Arduin's finished with training. Super good. I appreciate that. Uh, right, slow it down, slow it down. I just want to get through into the next month so I don't uh, go into bankruptcy. Lord Peter go is coming by. That's fine. Yeah, man, you're just going to give me a 1.0 because you hate my interior. It's not really how scores work. So I've got a plan, and it's a terrible plan because it's my plan. But I'd like to put a smaller but still you know large enough restaurant in here with a couple of bars and maybe some guest rooms and probably you know little things like a toilet and a staff room and that kind of thing now i know this is going to cause the maidens to start walking back and forth between the two buildings as they try and deal with everyone but if we put a couple more maidens on duty maybe that will be okay it might not be and i reserve the right to effectively demolish everything in that other building if this doesn't work out but we've got a kitchen right by the door here and i could put another kitchen over here so if they are which they will going to start walking back and forth between this these two buildings at least it's not that far and they've got it covered on both ends this is the strange logic that i am working with in tavern tycoon this might be a terrible idea but i'd like to get food and drink people over to this building and then after all of that is done maybe a couple of guest rooms maybe another casino because people really seem to dig that so let's start the party with the kitchen let's start with that so give me a kitchen just a basic one i don't need a huge kitchen here um, especially because those burners the little oven things hold uh four burners so we can get four maidens working over here at one time which is fantastic cool lock that in for me please i'm gonna put right now a couple of maidens on duty you are dirt cheap you'll probably start asking for a raise pretty soon but you're dirt cheap for right now why don't you what do i want you to do take orders and clean tables cook food don't research anything because we don't have a research department so that would be basically silly anyway but yeah just do do kitcheny things you can do either of those two things that's fine um we don't actually have any tables up quite yet but we're we're gonna work on that now a bar would be nice boy i'm gonna have a lot of staff if anything cripples me it's gonna be the staff wages at this point so put a bar there because everybody loves booze and put up well let's just get a bartender m honey yeah you're kind of meh why don't you go hang out over there and then tables 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 let's start with six and see if i can squeeze all of those into somewhere that is aesthetically pleasing to me um nope i can't right good excellent uh, i can get one can i get that right up there no i can get it there and oh there we go there and not there yeah totally not aesthetically pleasing to me but here we are uh can i get one there and there okay that's a start that's a start and that still leaves me a lot of free space over here to kind of mess around turn the game on just so i can see if eventually steep people will start peeling over here i should probably put up a restroom of some sort now see you you're gonna walk all the way over to the other building to do a thing I'm hoping as, oh, I see you. I got you. Kick you in the butt, Mr. Knight. I'm hoping that as this sort of balances out and more people are over here eating, then the maidens will balance out and they'll kind of spend a little more time over here. This is probably a pipe dream, but here it is. Lord Peter's here. Everyone look busy and clean. Armadillo rat. I got it. Okay, that's one less thing for Lord Peter to wig out about. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to edit the door. I'm going to try and get the door over here if I can. Do you want to? Uh, it's probably the bar and the table are in the way. Okay, that was, that was a silly place to put the door, but there it is. I'll put it over there. Maybe I can squeeze something in here like a restroom. 
that would probably be pretty good. Yeah, well, let's let's do that. How about we just got a regular sized restroom in here like that. Lock that in. Let's put that door nice and yeah, right there would work out fine. I want to leave plenty of room for benches and whatnot in there. There's your little basin. Let's get a couple of more booths. Come on, get over there. A little come on, come on. A few more booths over here and maybe one more. Can we get that to squeeze in there? There we go. Can I get one more in there? Yep, I sure can. Okay, cool. Lock that room in, please. Excellent. Now, let's get some basics under control here. Uh, where are we at? It's getting towards the end of the month, but not too bad. So let's get some furniture in here. Give me, oh, I don't know, three benches, a fireplace, a plant, and a piano, please. Yes, and a bookshelf. Cool. All right, give me all of that for right now. And then I'll figure out some other things that I want you to do. Bench down there. Can I, can I get this fireplace? Right in here would be perfect. Thank you. And let's get the piano right by the toilets because that's going to be awesome for the bards. Speaking of bards, speaking of bards, actually, I'll hit that discount next month. Would that be smart? Is that because it's is it, now it's got a time limit, not a monthly time limit. No, it's fine. Um,. Although, you know what? Just going to chill on the old money right now. We just spent a lot of money. A lot of money. So let's just chill, relax on the old financials for now. What I do like seeing is all these tables are now full. All of these tables are full. We're definitely getting some people over here. And hopefully that will make the people over here happy. Because, well, it's going to make people... I see you kids. It's going to make people happy in general because they can get their food. Cool. My plan, my stupid, stupid plan, might actually have some merit. Uh, I missed a couple of people on the old bonus thing. I missed them because I didn't look for them, so that's why. Uh, yeah, you can have a raise, I guess. Monthly report. It's money, money well spent, I think. Take them all. Take all these reservations. And while we're taking all those reservations... Ooh, I'm glad I chilled on the money. Our money is not so great right now, not so super awesome, but rep is ticking up. Good, we are way better on rep than we were. What, what's the problem? Group reservation of knights, did I miss you? Okay, come on in. Uh, way better than it was when we started this episode, so that's good. On that, let's just keep this plan ticking along here with, uh, could I get maybe three more tables in here? If I sort of lined them up, like, you're not going to let me put one in there, are you? No, not even close. Um, where can we stick? See if I... Okay, maybe there, maybe there. You know what? Let me just reorganize this a little bit. And by reorganize, I mean basically put those two tables back exactly where they were because it wasn't really working out. What else could I get in here? Not that. How about... Could I maybe get one of the sword stones in here? That might be a nice thing to have. Yeah, we can tuck that guy right in there. Wow, that barbarian is not having a good day. Not at all. I think we need... Well, every time we open up a new building, it just stretches the ability of the handyman. So let's get another handyman on deck. And i got to check to see if that guy ever finished his training. Uh, another Arterine. Yeah, sure, you're dirt cheap. You'll probably ask for a raise momentarily, but you're good. You know what, Arterine? Arterine, why don't you just immediately go to training? Uh, why don't you go be Dust Magnet? Go do that. And then when you're done with that, you'll be better at, well, you know, dust. Yeah, I think the next step is Casino Number 2, because this place is slammed, and that wizard just won the jackpot, too. Good for you, buddy. I have an express shop where you could spend that money. You know what? There's an interesting thought. I wonder if we put a casino right next to the express shop a la Las Vegas. Like, you just won some money. Here's a place to spend your money. I wonder if that would have a positive effect. I wonder if they would actually go, oh, I have all this money. I can go spend it in the express shop. I kind of want to find out. Maybe not this month because we're a little low on the old gold here. But next month, if our money keeps ticking up as it is... I think that's my move over here. Casino number two and an express shop right next to it. And maybe send one of the clerks off to that. Um, you get 15% more money from things in the express shop training. 
Hmm. Okay, get towards the end of the month here. Let's take that reservation for Wizards. Oh, a 1.3 from Lord Peter. I think that's his highest score yet. And let's just go through the old staff and see what the problems are. Oh, yeah, Root Hale, you're wicked unhappy. You're a little bit underpaid, but not a lot, to be honest. Have a couple of bonuses. Uh, anyone else really, really sad about things? S. Reed, you can have a bonus because you seem to be a little bit overpaid. Bonus for you. Bonus for you. Anyone else not super keen on things? Uh, yeah, bonus for you. Oh, Raven Hat's wicked sad. Well, you are exactly fairly paid, so just have some bonuses. There we go. You know what? Have some sunglasses. And now I'm seeing the money is stabilizing a bit. I, just, I did just spend a bunch of money. Ah, Arderine has trained Dust Magnet. Good. Get me over to my other building because I've got a stupid, stupid plan again. Um, I would like, yes, it's ticked over to the end of the month. Got that. Read the mail real quick. Made some money. Spent some money. Fantastic. Ooh, that money is going down quite a bit every time we go into the next month. It's going up very quickly, but it's also going down very quickly. And I got a thing to build another staff room. Yeah, we probably could use another one of those. Wow, all the tables are full. All the tables in the new restaurant is full and the bar is full and there's nobody at the bar. Great, cool. Okay, I think I kind of see where this building is gonna go. I see casino, express shop, at least one more bar. At, at bare minimum, one more bar. Staff room, more tables. More, 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 more tables. And while I'm here, while I'm thinking about tables and looking at the piano, I'm going to give the discount for bards again because I do love that. It's just such an easy reputation gain. You get, you know, four slots of everybody love the music heading out the door. That's a bunch of rep right there. Speaking of rep, how are we on that? 29.57. We just, we seem to be hovering around that 3,000 mark and we just can't seem to get much higher than that. Hmm. How are the happy rooms doing? Are those just slammed out? No. I mean, we've got sort of like one or two people in each one, but they don't seem to be, you know, so busy that people might be waiting for them. And actually, go back to the main building. I haven't checked on that in a little while. How are things doing over here, guys? Okay, it looks a little less congested over here. I don't know if that's because of my new reception desk or not, but it's looking a little less congested. That's, that's good, right? That's a good thing. Um, people are in those rooms, and nobody is really in these guest rooms. I don't know how much less I can charge for those. I think I'm charging an extremely fair price. Ah, the express shop is pretty slammed out, isn't it? Yeah, that that's going to be my plan over in this other building. Where is my other building? This, this complex is getting very large now. I'm not used to having this many buildings in Tavern Tycoon. Yeah, that's the plan. Casino, express shop, staff room, more bars, more tables in this building. That's going to be the way we flesh this out. But let's cover that in the next part of The Last Chance in, in Tavern Tycoon. We'll pick up some more of it there and flesh this building out and keep going because I'm not done yet. Oh, I've, I've never gone this far in Tavern Tycoon. This is unknown territory, but we'll see what we can do next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button for more of this ridiculous nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me. So just so we're all clear on the victory conditions here, I am last in everything. I am last in absolutely everything. Sixth place, sixth place, sixth place, and sixth place.